Hey friends, on today's adventure, we're headed into Dollywood. The park is closed, but we're able to get a look at their Christmas lights. So we're gonna show you a little behind the scenes of a couple that has been doing this for 15 years, as well as talk to Dylan, the special events coordinator of what is new at this year's Smoky Mountain Christmas. My name's Rick Gates, and this is my wife, Carol. Gates. Gates. Um, since we've been involved for 15 years, it's changed a little bit over the years. It started one way and some things have changed. But essentially what we're doing is taking all of our buildings, almost all of them, and we're outlining the buildings with different color lights. Sometimes two or three light colors on the same building. The idea is we want to show different areas of the park in different colors, different patterns. The patterning is pretty much the same. You learn from experience how to do it. And we change some of it's just it's kind of we just kind of freelance it. We might change it from one building to another. But essentially, the idea is to is to cover as many of, as much of the building as we can to outline it and and show the the colors and things. And when you put it all together in one this show street, especially this is the, pre, the premier area of the park, is the most beautiful area I think of the, of the park once it's done. All the planning is done though behind the scenes by the people higher up, yeah. than, much higher up than us, telling well, they, us the, the colors and the patterns and all that. The park but, chooses the colors and the and, the, and the, what they want on each building and then we basically take the colors and we put them on the buildings and, and, and the, what we feel is the proper way to do it. Uh, the input on the colors though is not something we decide, that's done by other people as well. Like, what's your number one piece of advice? If you're hanging your Christmas lights at home, hire somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> There's always usually a funny Yeah, question. well, you get Clark Griswold or somebody to come out and do it. But certain, uh, we've, we've been doing, well, Carol's not as much into hanging the lights anymore as I am, but 15 years, that we've got a core of people who've been here a long time. And we all learned a certain way, but we've evolved into doing it different ways. One thing all of you, there's a lot of young people here that probably won't understand what I'm saying, but all of us remember that most Christmas lights way back in the day were these big balls. We still use a few of those, by the way, but not very many. Here's what's going in the park now. But these these lights, and they're, all, they're LEDs. all LED lights. We don't use incandescent lights any longer. We did for a long time, but these lights, LED lights, of course, is what you're using around your homes, probably for anything you buy now is LED. But these lights will, you can put an infinite number of these together in a long string. I mean, we can take these 50 light strands and put 20 or 30 strands together in one continuous line, as long as we you know from the power source. Uh, incandescent lights, we had to probably couldn't do one tenth that many because they get hot. These lights will burn, they don't get hot and they consume very little power. So it's, it's good to know because we have millions and millions of lights, so you're not using nearly as much power with these. But we're basically gonna start from a power source, get to a common point of starting. Sometimes we'll use extension cords to get from the power source to where we wanna start because otherwise, the other thing is we can't have lights showing in places we don't want them to be. So we basically take a little plastic cap and we slide it on the ball. Here, hold these. See how we say please? <laughs> and then we just take some, we take some white electrical tape because we're using white wire. And we wrap it around the ball and tape it to the wire like this. It's just a, they can, they can reach it with an 80 foot boom on a, so there's, there's the installation, pretty much what it is, just magnified by the whole building. This is how we take out the lights that we don't want to show. And the pattern that we would use would be based on experience. Basically, we'd be doing all the, on this building, we would be doing basically all the white boards. Sometimes we'll do the siding, like this. And we might skip two or three laps of siding to make a pattern. Time is a, of the essence. Now we'll work on this. This will be done. This will go right up to November. And we started in July. So the guests will come up and ask us, you know, 
they say, did you, are, oh, you're just starting to put the lights up. And it's oh, the you're putting Christmas November. lights up. And we're like, <laughs> no, we've been working on it since July. And, and sometimes they'll alternate the colors that are on certain buildings because the park has a little bit different look each season. So if you're a guest, Front Porch Cafe in 2019 may look different than it did in 2020 and the way it will look in 2021 just to keep things fresh. Tell us a little bit about what's different this year at Dollywoods. Yeah, so during the Smoky Mountain Christmas Festival, we really want to expand on what we did last year. So last year we approached the park in kind of a zonal area theme. So, you know, we said this area is more cool blue and icy tones. This area is a little bit more warm white um, or candlelit feeling. So we're expanding on that. We're adding a few more lights in different areas. We have a couple new buildings that have popped up on parks. So you'll see more lights in those areas. One area that we're really excited about is our signature trees. Those were a big hit last year. So these are our large wrapped trees that are found throughout the park. So we'll be going in and adding a few more lights to those, a little bit more um, razzle dazzle to those as well. And we might have something special for folks up at the front of the park, but I'm gonna leave that one for you guys to come and visit and look up for yourselves. So our culinary department on park um, loves to change it up and keep it fresh from year to year with our culinary treats uh, for each festival and each season that we see. I don't have too much input on what they make, but I definitely give my feedback on what tastes good and I will gladly step into the role of tasting uh, you know, a new Christmas treat that might be coming down the way. So tell me about Christmas in the Smokies. Yeah, Christmas in the Smokies is one of our headline top tier Christmas shows that we have here for Smoky Mountain Christmas um, at Dollywood. And I can speak by personal experience. That was my favorite growing up, coming into the parks. Uh, in the Smokies is just it's just there it's just it's a big integral part of what we have here to offer at Christmas time at Dollywood so um, definitely check that out it, it's fresh it's cool it's it's but it's classic at the same time so I really enjoy it and it just kind of makes you feel cozy inside it's cool <laughs> awesome thank you Dallas. Yeah, no problem